guys, my name is Mr. Ramos. Today we're going to be talking about angles. But first things first, we're going to be talking about steps and definitions of different things. First step, use protractor. Second, recognize the angle. Third, be careful what you measure. Fourth, always remember that counting after the direction of the clock is for positive angles. And five, use letters of the angle to name it. Look, always look at the definitions. Now, let's go to the definitions right here real quick. On the definitions, I will give you a handout that we can review it together, all of us, okay? On the handouts, you will have the name of the angles and the definitions, definitions of each one of them. Right here is all definitions. Angle, the union of two sides that have a common endpoint. Vertex is a common endpoint of the highest point. Side, one surface forming a line. Interior, the inside area of an angle. Exterior, the outside area of an angle. Protractor is the tool that measures the angle, which is this one right there. And degree is the measurement to determine the size of the angle. Now, I have a, I made a little pictures here for you guys that it matches you handout. Let's review them real quick that way you know what I'm talking about. First one is this picture right here that it shows an obtuse angle. The definition is an angle that is greater but then the, greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Next one is the reflex angle an angle that is greater than 180 degrees. Next one is the full rotation. It's an angle that is 360 degrees, full circle. Next one is straight angle. It's an angle that is 180 degrees exactly. Next one is uh, right angle is an angle that is 90 degrees exactly. And last one is acute. It's an angle that is less than 90 degrees. Now, since you compare my pictures to your handout, you should be a little bit more familiar with what we're gonna be talking about. Now, what I have for you here is some examples. All right, now, we're gonna do some examples that I have written down already here on the board for you guys. Now, let's go with the first one. A is asking us to measure the angle. What do we use to measure an angle? We use our tool, which is a protractor. This is the way you set it up. You put it like this, right on the vertex, and should look like this. So what we have here, it looks like we have a 48 degree angle. degrees, 48 degree angle. Now next is asking us for what type of um, angle is this? Remember I give you a handout and if you look at your handout and compare the angle that we have on the board and what you have on your handout, it looks like we have an acute angle. So you're going to do this. You're going to write down the name and look at the definition. Acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees, and that's what we have. We have a 48 degree, so it is an acute angle. Let's go to the next one now. B, let's ask us again to measure the angle. We we'll use our tool. You put it on the angle again, on the vertex, set it up correctly, just the way it looks right here, and it should be a 90 degree angle. And this is how you do a 90 degree angle. 90. You're going to write it down right here too. Now it's asking us for what type of angle is this? Look at your handout. Compare what you have on the board and what we have here. 
and it seems like we have a right angle. And how do we know it's a right angle? Look at the definition on the right angle. It says an angle that is a 90 degree, 90 degree exactly. And that's what we have. So it is a right angle. Now let's go to the next one. The next one is asking us to name the angle. If you look at your steps, we're going to kind of go back over here. And on our other steps, it's telling us number five to use the letters on the angle to name it. Look at your angle right here, and this is what we have. We have a L M N. And that's the way you read it. From left to right. L M N. So you went from left to right. You know, do this a little arrow pointing to the right and a little symbol for angle. And that's how you name your angle. L M N. Next one is asking us to find the vertex. Remember the definitions? You look for vertex in here, and vertex says it's a common endpoint or the highest point. How do you find out? Look at your steps, look at your definitions, and look at your, look at your um, angle right here. Where do we have the highest point? It's this one right here. Look, what you're going to do, you're going to circle it, and you're going to name it vertex. And it's on the letter M. That's where your vertex is. On the last one, you see that it's asking us to name the angle again. Remember from the last one, we go from left to right. And we have X, Y, Z. So the name is going to go like this. X, Y, Z. And you went from left to right. Little arrow right here, and the little symbol to tell you that it's an angle. And it's asking us now to find the interior. Look at your definitions, and you're going to find interior. What does it say for interior? Interior is the inside area of an angle. If you look at your angle right here, if you look inside, this is the inside, this is the outside. So what's your interior? The inside. So this is your interior. And it's on the letter Y. I'm going to give you a little time um, to work on a couple examples that I'm going to give you. You guys got to work on that. And always remember, you're going to have these um, posters on the wall to use as a reference. Also, you have the steps and the definitions to go by to help you get the answers. If you have any questions, just raise your hand and I will be more than happy to help you. And when you're done, we're going to review them together and hopefully we'll get the same answer. Now, let's go one by one. Hopefully you got the same answers as me. Name the angle. What will be the name of the angle? Remember what we did? We go to the steps and how are we going to find the name? Look at the step number five. It says use the letters on the angle to name it. You see the name, you see the letters, and what do we have? A, B, and C. So how you read it is A, B, and C. Le left to right. And that's the name for your angle. Next question will be, find the exterior of the angle. Remember, look at the definitions. And it's asking you for the exterior. Exterior means the outside area of an angle. You got your angle right here. You got the interior right here. And this will be your exterior right here. So in what letter is that? That will be on letter B. That's where you can find your exterior. Let's go to the next one. On the next one, it's asking us to name the angle again. Always remember what we did on the last one. Read it from left to right. You're going you're gonna to have R, S, and T. R, S, T. Left to right. And the little 
simple to tell us that that is an angle, and that's our name of the angle. And as it is also asking us to find the vertex. And the definitions, if you go back to it, it says vertex is a common endpoint of the highest point. If you look at your angle, what will be the highest point? What will be the end point of your angle? It is right here. You can circle it that way you know what it is or where it's at, and it's on letter S. Now, let's go to the next one. On, on the next one is asking us to measure. What do we use to measure an angle? We use a little tool right here. We call it the protractor. You set it up this way, put it on the vertex, set it up nicely, look at the angle, and it seems to have, we have a 44 degree angle. So you mark it this way, and it's a 42 degree angle. Now, what type of angle do we have here? Always go back to your handout that I give you, and remember the posters that we're gonna have on the wall as a reference. So look at your angle, look at your handout, and it seems like we have an acute angle. Why is that? Look at the definition for acute angle, and it says it's an angle that is less than 90 degree. And sure enough, we have a 42 degree, which is less than 90 degree, and that will make it a acute angle. Okay, next one. Same thing, it's asking us to measure that angle. Using our tool, we're gonna set it up this way. Using our vertex as a uh, main point. You set it up nicely like this. Look at the numbers, and it seems that we have a 115 degree. 150 degree angle. Okay? Now, it's asking us what type of angle is this? If you go back to your definitions, I give you a handout, you have it right here on the board, and you're going to see, compare the image that you have in your handout, and it looks like we have an up obtuse angle. Why is an obtuse angle? Look at the definition, and it says an angle that is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180. And that's exactly what we have here, 115 degrees, and that will make it an obtuse angle. Hopefully with all of these steps and the definitions, you guys will understand exactly how to measure an angle, and how to name an angle, and how to find out the type of the angle. Finally, I'm going to give you a handout with some uh, examples that you can take home to figure out yourself. And tomorrow, we're all going to review it together. It's a homework. Thank you.